Take a look. This is our first real look at the woman who is now charged with intentionally hitting a grocery store shopper with her car. It had to be delivered. The suspect made her first appearance in court. Really, again, our first chance to see this woman who's accused in such a disturbing crime. Police say that she hit and killed a 79-year-old woman in the Aldi parking lot and tried to hit others. Channel 9's Mark Backer was in court today as well, and he's joining us live with the details. Mark? Scott, that court hearing didn't last long, only about 10 minutes, but it was enough to get a sense that that defendant in this case, Sawan al-Shabani, really never expected to be in this position, and frankly, we still don't know why she is. Sawan al-Shabani looked overwhelmed and even a little dazed as she stood in shackles next to an attorney and listened to the judge run down the charges she's facing. You have been charged with a felony offense of first degree murder. Her appearance here in court comes eight days after police say she deliberately drove her car into 79-year-old Vera Nahorna in the parking lot of this Aldi's in Matthews. Today, a man who was in the parking lot that day told me Al Shabani deliberately turned toward the victim, and there's no doubt in his mind it was intentional. It had to be delivered because there's no other way to get to that spot. This afternoon, Bob and Jay Skull were in that parking lot where flowers and candles marked the place along the curb where Nahorna came to rest and where many are still trying to make sense of it all. That's awful. I, I can't believe somebody would do that. Neither Al Shabani nor the attorney who appeared with her today gave any indication in court this afternoon of what she was thinking that day. But if they haven't already, doctors will probably evaluate her mental condition as everyone searches for an explanation where there may be no easy answers. And Al Shabani had five family members with her in court here. We tried to speak with them, but they did not want to comment and did not want to talk with us or shed any more light on this very puzzling and tragic situation. Scott? It certainly is. Uh, everybody wanting to know just why, what happened. All right, thank you, Mark.